Animal shelters across the country are overpopulated. Many of them have closed or modified intake, Houston included. Yeah, whether you're an animal person or not, this is a problem that impacts you. Right now we have a deeper dive on one solution, spay and neuter. There's a crisis unfolding in this country and it's happening in animal shelters in our communities. These animals are part of our world. Your money goes to programs and initiatives that support these animals, and they need your help more than ever. First, let's define the problem. Animal shelters are overpopulated. According to Humane Society of the U.S., every 13 seconds, a healthy, adoptable dog or cat is euthanized in a shelter. This comes out to approximately 3 million animals each year. And get this, 80% of these dogs and cats are healthy and could have been adopted. Heartbreaking, but there are solutions. Whether you're able to volunteer your time, donate money, foster, and or adopt, these are all ways you can help alleviate the stress in shelters. It comes down to education and conversation. Start by stopping by your local animal shelter to talk with staff and volunteers about their needs. Another solution, getting your animal fixed. What are your thoughts on spay and neuter? It's necessary to solve the problem of animal homelessness in Houston, Texas, and the South. Tama Lundquist is co-president of Houston Pet Set, a nonprofit organization that aims to end homelessness of companion animals and alleviate their suffering. Tama admits spay and neuter, even as a solution, presents problems. Accessibility to spay and neuter, is that a concern? Absolutely. We know there are veterinary deserts in Houston, 30 mile radius where there are no vets let alone vets who will do spay and neuter. If we can provide access to free spays and neuters, or at least low cost spays and neuters, we reduce those numbers significantly. How do you do that? We did it by providing a mobile unit that goes into the communities that are the most underserved in the veterinary field. Our veterinary unit runs four days a week, every week. How do we improve access to spay and neuter? We need more vets. We absolutely need vets to do this. While most veterinary practices offer spay and neuter services, the procedures can be expensive. There are options for low cost and free spay and neuter, similar to Houston Pet Sets initiative. We have a low cost clinic here. Aaron Johnson is director of Montgomery County Animal Services. Do you believe spay and neuter is a solution? I believe it's part of the solution. I don't, I don't think with the overpopulation and everything else, it's, there's that one magic answer. It has to go along with responsible pet ownership, people keeping their dogs you know, on their property, things like that. It benefits all of us in the end. If we just change the way we think about animals, the way our community thinks about animals, recognizing they have feelings, recognizing that they are domesticated, our moral responsibility, our ethical responsibility to care for them. Los Angeles County and the city of Dallas are two major metro areas that require all residents to have their dogs and cats older than four months uh, old to be fixed. The question now, is it Houston's turn? I know a lot of people are screaming yes, yes at their right? televisions, yes. at least if you work uh, with animal welfare organizations or yeah. are part of rescue in any means. Um, we're grateful to our nonprofits who uh, lend a hand offering day. free spay yeah. neuter or reduce costs, who work with veterinary partners. So if you're in that group, thank you for all the good work you do. It's much needed the here need in Houston. It is great, yeah. Yeah. All right. Other